Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here to share with you my June reading plans and my June TBR. This is also going to be a little bit of a library haul. All of my holds from March through now are finally coming in, so I have a big stash at home now. I've divided my plans this month by adult and then by young adult and juvenile TBR. So I think I'll go through the adult books first. Three of them are ones that I have out from Libra FM on audiobook. I don't know if like I'm going to like all of them, but I'm going to at least attempt them. One of them is Beach Read, which has been a very anticipated romance book. We'll see if it's any good if I agree with everybody else that I've seen review this book so far. Another one is All Adults Here, which is the new book by Emma Straub. Emma Straub has been an author that I've wanted to read for a long time. I haven't read any of her books, but this one is available through Libra Fun, so I'm going to test it out and try to listen to the audiobook and see if Straub is for me. Another one is Erotum, which is a really anticipated Curtis Sittenfeld book that I've heard makes things about and I've seen like clips of some of the text that um, it's a little cringeworthy. I'm not quite sure if I think it's like an ethical use of a real person who's still living and <laughs> taking that and making a fictional story with it, but we're gonna see if Curtis Sittenfeld like Emma Straub is an author that could be for me. Another adult fiction that I'm really excited about is Miracle Creek. So this one I'm drawn to because it's supposed to be like a courtroom drama and a courtroom mystery. So far it seems like both people who really enjoy literary fiction and people who really enjoy like genre fiction have liked it. I'm hoping that it's like the perfect mystery and courtroom drama for me, especially after I just read The Holdout and it didn't do it for me for a courtroom mystery. I think that is it for fiction for adult fiction. Then I have one that I already have out from the library. I have the audiobook as well, The Five, and this is The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper, so it's a look at their lives. I hope that it's something that I can really get into and that's very compelling. Then I also have Children of the Land by Marcelo Hernandez Castillo, and this is a look into being an undocumented immigrant and it's a memoir. I also have the audiobook out. This one might end up being read in July, but we're gonna see if it happens in June. Same for this one. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to read it in June, but I have In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado out. And I'm interested to give her another chance just because I didn't really get on with her short story collection. And I'm hoping that a memoir nonfiction by her will work better for me. Let's talk about two things that I have out from Libby. And one is Saigon. There's been a lot of buzz about it. And also Pelosi, which is supposed to be a link into Nancy Pelosi, obviously. And it's by Molly Ball, who is um, a journalist. Then I have four from Libra FM that are nonfiction audiobooks. One of them is Strange Rights, which looks into religion. That really caught my attention. I haven't read a book about religion in a long time. I also have two memoirs. One is Stray, which is by the same person who did Sweet Bitter. I've never read Sweet Bitter. I've never watched a show or anything, but I am interested in her memoir. So we'll see if this one is any good. And then I also have Obsessed, which is a look at um, OCD. And then the last one that I'm really excited about is Fire in Paradise, which looks at the, I believe, campfire that happened in California a couple years ago. So that is it for my adult TBR. I have three more things that I have out from the library that I don't know if they're going to happen during June. And these are things that are either coming in from holds or I saw on the shelf and I was like, yeah, I did need that. So one of them is Sexual Citizens, which is a look at sexual assault on college campuses. It says it's a landmark study of sex, power, and assault on campus. As you know, I'm very interested in these topics and it's kind of chunky and I don't think there's an audiobook, so that's why I'm a little bit more unsure about this one. Then I also have, um, along the same lines, I have The Girls by Abigail Pesta. This is the book that kept being recommended in all of the reviews of Start By Believing, which is a book I just read recently about this scandal, and people kept saying like, read this instead. So I am going to read this on top of that. I also put Rachel Del Hollander, I think is her name, who was one of the first people that came out to say that Larry Nassar abused her. I have that book on hold as well. And that one is called What is a Girl Worth? So I have that one coming soon as well. So I'm going to read three books about this. I have problems. And then the last one that I have out that again, I don't know if it's going to happen in June is The Lonely City, which looks at loneliness. Again, I'm not 100% sure if it's my cup of tea, but we shall see. So as for my my young adult and my juvenile TBR. Let's talk about the two nonfictions that I have out 
first. One of them is a young adult nonfiction and it's All Boys Aren't Blue. I believe I'm gonna get this one in like the first week just because the audiobook is expiring soon. And this is a memoir about gender and sexuality, I believe. And it's one of the picks for Project Lit, which you will see from my TBR. This is a recurring theme. I want to read the majority of those books and then I want to do a video about them because I've read already like half of them, so I kind of want to finish the other half because they're all books that really interest me, the books that they pick for that list. And then the other one that's a nonfiction is Free Lunch, which I have out already from audiobook. That is another Project Lit pick from this year. So then let's talk about kids fiction first. So one of them is Tornado Brain, which I have out from Libro FM. I have some sense that it's about like neurological diversity, but I'm not 100% sure. And then two that I already have and I'm ready to read this month for sure is um, Clean Getaway by Nick Stone, which I already have out from the library. And like all boys aren't blue, I need to read it early on in the month because the audiobook is almost out of days. And then the other one that the audiobook is being released at the end of the month that I'm excited about is Prairie Lotus, which I've shown to you before, but I haven't gotten to again because there's no audiobook and I really need the audiobook these days. Okay, I think that's it for kids books that I like have on my TBR. Then I have like a ginormous pile here <laughs> that I know I'm not going to get to all in June. Let me just show them to you quickly just so you can see them and see the covers. Um, if you have comments about them, let me know. I can tell you, you know, how excited I am for each of them. Some are more excited than others. One of them is More to the Story by Hannah Khan. I haven't read anything by Hannah Khan. Um, we used one of her books for Battle of the Books last year, but I didn't read it. I love this cover. It is so cute and darling. It's a contemporary. Not all I pretty much need. Then I also have Echo by Pam Munoz Ryan. I've only read one Pam Munoz Ryan and this is everybody's favorite Pam Munoz Ryan so I have it out from the library. I don't think I'm gonna get to it right away but there it is. I also have The Red Pencil by Andrea Pinckney. I heard her give a speech at a virtual conference maybe last month and I really enjoyed what she had to say and I would like to get to this one in its inverse which also draws me in. I also have The Only Black Girls in Town by Brandy Colbert. This is one of those books that I put on hold literally in February and just came in now. I have to see if there's an audiobook available for this one, but I've never read any Brandy Colbert and people really like her, so I'm ready to give it a shot. I also have one that I've been hearing a lot of good buzz about and it's A Wish in the Dark. This is a fantasy, which I'm not 100% sure if I'm I'm there, um, but it's a Thai-inspired fantasy world. It takes a twist on Les Miserables, so let's see if I like it. I've heard lots of good things on Twitter about it. I also have the new Sarah Pennypacker. I haven't read Pax yet. She is an author that I recommend very often at the library. I don't know why my finger is so itchy. And this is here in the real world. I think this is kind of fabulism in a way because it talks about like being medieval knights and stuff. Basically they're at this camp and these two kids become friends and start creating their own world from there. Show me a sign which looks into ASL. It is own voices and that is interesting to me. I also have a book I'm really excited about. I've been seeing really fun things about it. It looks like something that I would want to recommend to lots of kids. So I want to read it to figure out if my assumption is correct. This is a wink and it just looks at this boy. So he is um, diagnosed with the rare eye cancer, but suddenly he's the standout cancer kid at the seventh grade. And it's based on Rob Harrell's real life experience. It's got art in it as well, and little pictures and comics. All of my books are in your way, let me move them. <laughs> I also have one I'm excited about. I saw this author speak at Social Distance Book Fest, I think it was what it's called. So this is In the Tall Tall Grass by L'Oreal Lion, and I believe it's based off of her growing up and her experience with her grandmother. And again, beautiful cover, and I'm excited to support that author. And then lastly, I have Prettiest, which is a brand new release that just came out, and it's about girls who are basically being ranked um, by people in their class. So the girls band together to find out who wrote the list, and they become video vigilantes and, and friends trying to figure out what is going on. So that is it for my library haul of things that I don't really think I'm going to get to but just wanted to share them with you just so you see them. A few other things that I definitely want to get to is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo which I have on hold for the audiobook but it didn't come in in May so I'm hoping that <laughs> I climb enough in the list to have it in June. So that's a book that's moving from May to June just because I didn't get it. I also have a few YAs that are on Project Lit that I'm not 100% sure are going to happen in June, but here they are. I want to read Pet. I want to read Not So Pure and Simple. I want to read Slay. And this 
sounds pretty cool. It's like Ready Player One, but like a girl programmer and she's a teenager and she's standing up to trolls basically. Also like a love letter, which I've heard fantastic things about. It's set in the 80s. There's lots of like Madonna references and it's about being queer. And then also we are not from here. And this one I do want to get to because I have it out from um, Libra FM. Now let me show you the graphic novels that I have out from the library. I think I probably will get to all of these. I rechecked back out New Kid. I tried this out like four months ago, five months ago, and then it won the Newberry. So I want to give it another shot. I think a lot of it felt kind of dense and I didn't love the art style, but I want to give it another shot. So I have it back out. Let's leave the one I'm most excited for till the end. I also have out The Phantom Twin, which is a brand new release and it's a young adult graphic novel. I really enjoy the art style. It gives me like historical vibes, Sherlock Holmes vibes. Don't know much about it. I think it has to do with ghosts. Another one that I've been really excited for is Snapdragon, which I had on hold for forever and then the library closed and then it never came to me until now. And it does have to do with magic. A witch in the woods, girls who live in a trailer park and the unexpected web of connections tying everyone together. I also have out Glass Town by Isabel Greenberg. In my previous video, I talked about how I haven't read any other Isabel Greenberg and this is her brand new release. So I got it out just in case I want to read it. And then the two that I'm most, most excited about are Lucy Nicely's new collection, Go to Sleep, I Miss You. A lot of these probably she's put on her Instagram the first couple years of parenthood, but it's a whole collection of them and I'm sure I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be a nice, palette cleanser and then finally the most exciting book that i've gotten in a very long time is dragon hoops by jean luang yang do you remember like two months ago i talked in my videos about how i was so excited for this book it was in my most anticipated for the year it literally got released the day after the library closed so I couldn't get it, obviously, and I wasn't gonna pay $30 for it because it's a ginormous graphic memoir. And I am so freaking excited for this book and I hope that it delivers everything that I'm hoping for. I think I also put it on my five star TBR prediction. So we'll see if it makes that as well. It's here, woohoo. All right, I think that is it. Uh, can you believe I have this many books out from the library right now? Uh, it's time for me to get reading. If you would like to read any of these that you've seen in this video or have any comments about them, let me know down below and I'll see you in my next video. Happy reading. Bye-bye.